So what we're trying to do with iSpy is reinvent the old kids game that we all played like when we were younger called I Spy with My Little Eye. And the game was all about, it was a scavenger hunt game and you'd look for something and you, like your parents would find something cool and they would like explain it to you but they'd be real vague about it and you had to try to find it. So that, that's what we're trying to do using like new mobile technologies and GPS is like show people new things all around them that they didn't know were there in like a scavenger hunt type game. So creating iSpy games is really easy. All, all the games you see in the playlist were created by other players nearby. So to create a game of yourself, for yourself, you just go to the create screen and snap a picture of something that you want other people to find. So that could be like a statue or you know, a person or some, something in like your local area. So if you're in Rome, most likely no one in Rome is playing iSpy, so you're not gonna see any games to play. But that doesn't mean you can't create your own game. And so you'd probably be the first person in Rome to create games. And then the next person who comes to Rome, they'd see that Lee is like, you know, she's the big iSpy player in Rome, and they'll start playing your games, and it just kind of grows from there. We've dedicated our life to this thing. And it, after all this time, we have no idea whether people are going to like this or not. We have like a few friends of ours who have played with it and tested it. And you know we're getting good feedback from them, but how do we know that like a lot of people are going to like this? For this to be successful, we need thousands or millions of people playing this game, and we have absolutely no idea what's going to happen because you don't know until you put it in the app store, or until Apple gets their hands on it and starts distributing it to everyone with an iPhone. And if no one likes it and no one downloads it, it it would be eight months to waste. My girlfriend is not too happy about it. It's not, you know, it's like when dinner time rolls around, I might just be eating it like at my desk on the phone with people the entire time. Or I get to tell my developers, hey, I'm going out and creating some games today. I'll be back later. And we get to just go out and sort of explore the city and enjoy and see all these cool things. And then I sort of can use iSpy as an excuse. Like, oh, I'm out, I'm out creating games. Like, what are you guys doing? when really I'm out just having fun and that's what the game's all about. So we've been working on this for over a year. Um, it started out as just a simple idea, like three, three me and my buddy sitting around talking about how we're gonna, uh, what, what we wanted to build. And it's just grown from that. And after a year of development and we, you know, design, we submitted it to Apple just last week. The only real notification I get from them as to whether iSpy has been approved or not is this little light right here. Is Right now it's orange and it says waiting for review. And hopefully sometime over the next two weeks it'll turn green and once they approve it it'll be available in the App Store for anyone to download on their iPhone for free. Um, and then once that happens we're gonna get advertisers who want to help um, you know promote things nearby and uh, include them in the app. iSpy is our very first real world game and after this we're gonna expand and recreate all sorts of games that we've played. You know, what's the future of hide and go seek? Or the future of Marco Polo? You know, how are we gonna take technology and like reinvent the games that we all played as a kid?